Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to episode 70 of your bucket blowing tutorials. Um, today we're going to be looking at the physics of <laughs> falling blocks. So like, like you know, with sand, how sand falls, we're looking at, at how sand falls, basically. But with any block, we could make any block just like fall uh, with the same sort of effect that, that sand has. And the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at sort of how we'd modify explosions so that explosions would fly, blocks would fly all over the place. But for now, we're just going to be looking at how we'd sort of spawn in one of those blocks when a player placed a block and it, it needed to fall. Um, so make sure that your class implements listener and in your on enable you have registered the events uh, that we're about to create. So the event we're going to create is a uh, block break event. So make public void uh, on block break, on block break and we're going to called block break event and then name it event okay so first of all we're going to make an if statement and what we're going to do is we're going to check that the block underneath the block being placed is air and to do this we type event dot get block dot get location so we're getting the location of the block and we're going to subtract we're subtracting nothing from the x one from the y and nothing from the z so we're going one block down and we're going to get the block and we're going to get the type and we're checking if that um the type of block is not equal to material dot air. So if the type of material um, that the block is isn't equal to and that's the wrong thing isn't equal to material dot air, then we just want to return out of the statement. So we want to break out of this this uh, method and just make sure that everything after this doesn't happen. So everything that we're about to write won't happen if the block underneath is a solid block. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create this this falling block. And the way this happens is first of all we need to get the world that the other block is in. So event dot get world dot uh, dot get block dot get world. And we're going to spawn a falling block. Now the location of the block, so event dot get block dot get location, like so. And the material is going to be is the material of the block. So event dot get block dot get material. Now obviously uh, dot get type, sorry, not not material. Uh, dot get type. Now, obviously, some blocks like like the stone brick doesn't have it's the, they have metadata and stuff. So it's it's like wool and that they have they have data, <laughs> they have byte data, and we're gonna grab that data from the block. So event dot get block dot get data, which is actually deprecated, but you know we're going to just add suppress warnings for that because. Otherwise, it's a bit like I, I'm not sure else how we get that. Dot get no. Dot get uh yeah no. We're just gonna get the data, and we're gonna just suppress warnings because it's not actually that deprecated. You can still get this very easily. So now we just need to remove the block from the world. So dot get block dot set type to material dot air like so. So what this is is doing is we're getting the world. The, the block is in and we're spawning a falling block so a block that sort of falls down and it's going to be at the location of the block it's going to be of the type of the block and it's going to have the same metadata as the block and then we're going to remove the block and so we'll only have the spawn the the, the spawning block the falling block <laughs> so that's it really for this um i guess i'll see you guys in game okay so i actually made a, a little mistake little mistake here it's uh it's not on block break <laughs> it's on block place block place event um like so it's block place event okay <laughs> i have no idea why i put block break event okay so anyway in a uh, game we just sort of go up here right so i have a stone block so if i place this say on the side of here you'll see it just sort of falls to the ground like that so the fall, like that. So, and with the stone brick block, it does the same. And then if I have the cracked stone brick block, which has a different, um, has a different uh, metadata or whatever, data, you see it still stays as a cracked brick. Grick. Grick? I cannot talk. All right, and now we know that wool and that has different data. So you see white wool falls as white wool and red wool falls as red wool. If we had have just put like, um, like if we just casted zero to a byte, if we'll see what happens if we do this, I'll show you what happens if we do this. Instead of actually getting the uh, the item data, then we'll see that instead, if we reload the server, 
if I drop the uh, the red wall, you'll see it just turns into white wall, and the cracked stone just turns into normal stone. Uh, I'm not really sure what other. Oh yeah, there's there's like wood in that as well, so this would just turn into that. It also, if we uh, if we convert back to the old data, the proper way we should do it to get the uh, the full data, like so. Oh, it didn't change my game mode. Right, you'll see that it falls on its side instead of turning back to the top. So it turns the way that we we sort of place it. So if I place it like this, or I don't know how I, I don't know how I'd, I'd show that off. But anyway, if I place it like upside down, it falls like that. So that's like falling blocks and stuff. And next episode we're going to be doing about explosives within falling blocks now to make explosions look cool so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time